water, rivers, wherever I'm fishing is more of a, a place that sparks my curiosity. It's even hard to drive over a lake and not think, OK, where is this? Have I seen it on a map before? What lake does it connect to? What river does it connect? What ocean does it connect to? It's a place of work for me. I like working hard at things. I like putting pieces of the puzzle together. I like being in an environment where I can really, really, truly dive into, like, express everything that I really am. And there's nothing that does it better than being around water for me. I grew up in a fishing family where I just grew up fishing. I don't remember not fishing. I, I always fish just because my dad was a serious tournament angler, and he introduced me to the sport so early. But it was cool growing up around tournament fishing and going to boat shows and you know, just being around the sport so much. I just thought I was supposed to tournament fish. He didn't let me fish any tournaments until second grade. I was about 10 years old when we won as a team, won our first, first tournament. I was kind of pretty much his team partner, except for in some of the bigger tournaments. But him introducing me to fishing, it was kind of a way to kind of keep you off the streets and kind of keep you out of trouble. I don't think he ever meant for me to take it as serious as I did, because once I got in my 20s or so, he was like, you know, you kind of probably want to get you a real job because, you know, you're not going to make any money at fishing. That made me just want it more because he was telling me that I couldn't do it. We have a family-owned business, landscaping company. And I never really liked it that much, but I did it hard. Like, I, I really went at it hard because I knew that was the only gateway I would ever have to fishing for a living was in my landscaping company because you would have three months of the year off. When you finished your work, you're done, so you could do whatever you needed to do. As much and as hard as it was, I just always stayed around it because I knew that was the only occupation that I could have that would allow me to fish the way that I wanted to fish. I can tell you this, you could be planting crepe myrtles for $100,000 a piece, I wouldn't go back to it. <laughs> I just like working. At, I like trying to be 1% better than I was last year. That's what I get off on. Like, that's what really makes me giggle inside, is just trying to, when I learn something new about fishing, learn something new about me that makes me more confident or makes me you know, how I build my skills. Tournament fishing will always be my number one.